Welcome back to Odin Sphere. Hi, I'm Shibo. And we are dwarves. Ah, oh, I can't do that. that technology is oh, it was worth a shot. Make it work. Uh, also, speak for yourself. I'm like almost six feet tall. To put the cauldron's fire out. How did the witch stop the cauldron? That was the forest There's witch. something about just using a witch in your story that makes me smile. It's something you don't see anymore. Yeah. I'm just such a huge fan of the classics that the I... Witch is a yeah. From a fallen oh... It's the I, king's mm, fault she's still alive. The, those abs should not be Lord moving Brigham, like that. He needs a doctor, like right now. The There's nothing anatomically accurate about this game. You're just gonna have to accept it. Mm. Like, the only normal thing in this game are the player characters. Princess, please. Also, this is a pretty they dark thing the here. The marriage he arranged for me. What? I can still fight. I would rather die fighting than be subservient. I would like to help, but this is the law. Uh, Ragnarok is a very open country. Valkyries that cannot fight are wed to brave warriors to bear brave <laughs> children. They are stripped of their pride and honor and live under a man's thumb. I'm... Hmm. This is a very Norse mythos game. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm glad to see we're part of the. Oh, good, Bunny's back. It's, um, mm. You sure about that? You are really sure about that? <laughs> no, she is not. I heard that he pledged his soul to death and traded his life for demonic powers. All I know is that I hope. Is that an option? What? Can, can I pledge my soul to death and get some demonic powers? I mean, you could, but it's, the, the returns are not really that great. Well, I mean, says you. Imagine imagine how many uh, LP updates we could handle if I had some, like, imps running around to <laughs> handle recording shit. Hi, I'm Shibotech, and welcome back to Let's Play Trauma Center. Yeah. <laughs> I may have a weird voice, I'm just dealing with a cold. I'm dealing with a cold, right? Now, I am... I am shaking with laughter right now, thank you. Good. <laughs> now, an interesting thing about this game is that you can go back to chapters and replay them. That's basically for getting your S rank, but the conditions are weird mainly because if you redo a fight, you keep your levels. If it all was so it just kind of feels unearnest to me if you go back and do a fight. Also, I, um... When I was recording this, my capture card said fuck this cutscene, so the text box are a little different because I'm loading this from my main file. That's... yeah, okay, that's um good to know. What is up with his kneecaps, though? <laughs> he, uh, didn't do leg day. No, he cannot be serious about opposing me. I, I just... I'm baffled. I'm, I'm taking in these... Beautiful Wonder set pieces and these interesting Father, characters, and then wait. Brigand comes on the screen, and every time my mind basically just goes, castle. "What the fuck is that?" and just shuts down. If I had not let <laughs> Brigand you know, is a character. Uh, I do like that light Allow fixture though. It's gorgeous myself. chandelier. Oh well, yeah, huh, I never, I've never much. noticed that. It's like deer antlers. It's really cool. I like the uh, various shooting stars right. in the background as well. Yeah, Ragnanovil is a cool country just because it always has space words. flying around it. Do not cause undue harm to the witch. She's... well, she's... she is special. Be I don't think you should use that word, Odin, because that kind of misleading. <laughs> as you wish, your majesty. I don't know if that's due to the times, but I'm just kind of like, that's... Mm. <laughs> Maybe that's just me, but I just... When he says I'm like, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh, isn't this lovely? This is a beautiful tile set. Now, let's learn about alchemy. Let's learn about carrots. Oh, mandragoras? Really? Oh, dear. They are technically mandragoras, but yeah, it's a carrot. Aren't mandragoras like the, uh... Yes. It's like the, oh no, it's Mandrake. That's one thing. Oh my God! What? <laughs> yeah, they're Mandragoras. No. It's are they sentient? What, who's? Yes. You're, mm -hmm. you're killing sentient vegetables mm -hmm. and eating them. Mm -hmm. And you see nothing wrong with this? Nope. Because I get a lot of good things from carrots. 
You are... You are literally going to juice the corpse of something you just you just dug it up out of its home, murdered it, and now you're going to distill its body. So alchemy into a is healing very product. different in this game. In the main game, it was <laughs> really complex, like almost comically complex, but also really overpowered. In the original Odin Sphere, you, what you would have to do is like do a fucking pagan ritual to receive a level 98 potion. Then make the potion you want to not only get your potion, but also get like a boatload of Fozons. That was so overpowered the developers like, were like, nah, we gotta stop that. So potion making is very simplified. Potion making only goes up to level 9, and you just add a Mandragora to get your effect. Good, I think. Uh, those little bear things are adorable. Yeah. Bears are actually kind of tough because they have high hit stun, but they also, if they attack, they also have an air slash, and that can really trip you up. Let's read about alchemy. Not really, though, because I'm not going to read this. That is... So... Uh, I think we I think we touched on this actually briefly in Muramasa, but uh, I am actually a little a little upset at the moment. This is not that's not how alchemy works. It, it's not it's gamified. Don't worry about it. No, I'm incredibly upset. I will not have uh, the good name of alchemy brought down to this level. We don't just take carrots and <laughs> stuff them in bottles. All right. There is a really cool t-shirt that was only available for the special edition of this game for the PS4. And it makes me mad because I want that t-shirt. It's a t-shirt that says, Habanero plus Vial equals Potion. And I would love that shirt. <laughs> it is the funniest thing to me because if you see the ma if you see the Habanero Mandragora, you will laugh so hard. It's, w will I get the chance? During the story, yeah, but not this video, sadly. Oh, you're killing me. You mean I'm gonna have to watch this LP? Well, you're, when we get to the chapter, you're gonna see it, but like, for this video specifically, we don't see a Mandragora, or we don't see a Habanero. <laughs> now, an interesting thing about this game is that you could just convert potions to other potions. Like, if you have a surplus of uh, antidotes and you're not in a poison land, fuck it, throw a carrot in there, get a healing potion. I never really make use of this because I have uses for every potion in the game, actually. Now, goblins are thankfully less frustrating than they were in the main game because in the original Odin Sphere, see the little dagger that just flew off them? Every time you would hit them in the original game, they would fling off a dagger and it was a revenge bullet and the most frustrating thing in the goddamn planet. Oh god. Yeah, no thanks. Now, a thing to note about this this LP in terms of uh, S ranks, there are fights specifically designed that unless you are crazy at min-maxing, you are not going to meet par. So in order to get S rank, you have to not get hit, period. And you will know that you have not met par because when you... Uh, start degrading in rank by missing par, you will see a me that meter in the top right slowly decrease. Hmm. By the way, I just completely talked over foreboding plot, but whatever! This no, it's completely fine. Uh, also... I may have located the shirt. Yeah, you can buy it on Amazon, but fucking... it's expensive. Uh, you can get it on eBay for like eight bucks. Oh shit, I'm gonna have to do that then. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> frogs are probably the funniest enemy in the game because they, uh, one of their attacks is they shoot a potion. That potion can turn you into a frog. How do you get unfrogged? By getting hit by the same attack. Is there any like gameplay effect to being frogified? You can't attack. You will. You can't combo. Your attack is just you shoot a tongue at someone. <laughs> being frogged sucks. Sounds uh, sounds like quite the detrimental effect. Yes. Oh, I see. We got a new skill. Yep, we got 
This skill is great. This is a gas jail free card. Blinding light is a g almost guaranteed stun proc. Huh. At a huge radius. I will be using this skill a lot. I was going to say, I noticed you wasted zero time in upgrading that thing. Yeah, I was going to touch on that, but give me a second to clear my throat. While you clear your throat, I will point out that was why I was a little quiet for a moment there. It was because I was trying to locate the shirt, and I did. I'll shoot you a link after we're done. Excellent. So, um, with Gwendolyn, I kind of want to experiment with something, because in leveling this game, there are two things you could do. You could level skills to get new effects and slight upgrades to your power and magic meter, or you could directly upgrade your weapon and get more attack. With Gwendolyn, I was experimenting whether it's better to upgrade your weapon once every level or just upgrade every skill once. Turns out it's better if you upgrade your weapon once every chapter. Hmm, okay. That's somewhat counterintuitive. Also secrets. Yeah, this is one of the secrets. It's it. I believe the secret for this area said find where the frog leaps out or something because you could actually find a hint on the skill grid for where the hidden item is. Oh, that's neat. Arctic Shroud is actually one of the two skills I don't use on Gwendolyn because it's a... Uh, it's a th thing that says protect you from getting hit with X. I don't want to get hit. At all, yeah. So, hmm. I can see where that would uh, not come into play in a heroic run. Now, a thing about Gwendolyn is that she moves a lot faster through flight, but not now, though. We haven't gotten the tutorial for a set of skills that will make her fast. Oh, I missed a Mandragora. What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, granted, it's probably just a carrot, but what the fuck? This is... It, you are so unprofessional. I can't believe you. Well, I didn't even real... I, when I play these games, I'm also listening to, like, LPs in the back. And I'm just like, da-da-da-da-da, and I didn't hear the little squeak of the Mandragora at the exit. What the hell? are those? Those are cusbanes. I don't know if that's an actual thing, but they are a poisonous plant. By uh, harvesting cusbane, you could get access to antidotes, toxins, or a potion called Killer Cloud. Killer Cloud is hilariously overpowered. I just... Killer Cloud... There's no... We didn't name this any better way, guys. Yeah, I mean, we could have called it Cloud Kill, but Wizards of the Coast will probably get on our case. Eh, that is true, I was gonna say. I was trying to remember, uh, but I was thinking Phantasmal Killer. That's why... Phantasmal Killer wrong. is a, uh, is a, uh, individual target. I know this because I'm running D&D sessions, and one of my players have a dastardly combo set up with, uh, Phantasmal Slayer and Reactions. But anyways, that's uh, not Odin Sphere. Yeah. No, it's not Odin Sphere, but uh, I feel like we have many things to discuss after recording. Uh, <laughs> Possibly. I, yep, big frog. Uh, so it is. What do you mean, possibly? You wanna, you wanna fucking take this outside, dude? Swear to God. We're goddamn internet <laughs> friends now. We'll talk about what I want to talk about. <laughs> I was actually trying to remember what I wanted to discuss about... Oh yeah, that's right, I used... um. I used, uh, the burst attack. Blinding the, light? Yeah, blinding light. Blinding light is really good because not only does it stun, it pops people in the air, and you could just combo the shit out of people. Yeah, I saw that. That was a pretty neat attack. Oh, I see. Now we can make antidotes. Good. We could always so make antidotes. Have... We just know how to now. That was going to be my question. Is, is the game going to limit you on, like, actually finding recipes, or can you just get mandragoras and start stuffing them um... in the bottles? For Gwendolyn, yes, because they restrict you by gating what mandragoras you get. Ah, okay. But at any time, you could just say, get two turnips, stick them in a pot, and hey, potion! Gotcha. That's cooking, but... Now, this is the game teaching you how to increase the level of a potion. Level is actually relevant to potions, because it increases the potency. For example, what the game's telling you here is like, Hey, you want to make a better healing potion? Jam these mulberries in your potion and it'll be better! Okay, now oh, I see that, okay. Now this potion heals 250 HP instead of 100. 
that's a little egregious for me. No, it's fine. Here's a new mid boss. <laughs> what? Uh, I don't think that's what Alarins look like. No, they are not, but man, I love the new mid bosses. Holy shit. Mainly because the music is really good. Oh, this is pretty jamming. Did it just grow another head after you lopped off the first one? Mm hmm. Now, unfortunately, you can't juggle an Alarine. And their gimmick is. Alarines. We spawn new enemies in weird ways? What the um. fight works like is they will spawn seeds. For whatever reason, these seeds will spawn bears that will be aggressive to you. And the seeds will eat the bears, and then once they finish eating the bears, they will become an Alarain. I... what? It's a very convoluted process. Now, I am not an expert on a bear or seed or, in fact, man-eating plant anatomy and reproduction, but I'm 90% sure that is not correct. Also, if you were paying attention right there, Shield Ring took into effect and I blocked an attack, but just by happenstance. If you ever uh, see me blocking, see that's that. not consciously. Gotcha. Mainly because blocking takes a good three seconds to activate manually. Wait, seriously? Yeah, you have to be on the ground, you have to hold attack, and then your character will take three seconds to go into a stance. That's kind of awful. That's why Shield Ring is so good, because if it's automatic, it's just BAM! Block! Back to the combo! Gotcha. Now, also, Vanillaware has a very uh, big mindset of guarding is dumb, you should, be not, you should not be getting hit. They do that in all their games, Odin Sphere is no exception. Which, I mean, that's perfectly fair, but... Now... Ugh, my throat. Granted, the developers did reward you for blocking in this game, and it's a very generous reward, too. Like, if you're playing the regular game on its own, and you fuck up an S rank, depending on what enemies you fight, you can, um... Farm grade. Just by, uh... By blocking hits successfully? Sorry about that, yes. Each block will give you 10 grade points. If you find certain attacks that do multi-hits, that's 100 free points. Maybe more. Oh. Now, Rose Meal was a mechanic in the main game. It was a seed that you could plant and you get 11 Fozons for free. They gave you, now the game has wild Fozons because they wanted you to kinda get in the curve a lot faster. Because much like Muramasa, this game is half talent, half numbers. Makes sense. And I see uh, the, the muggle, which I'm laughing at, but uh, apparently that has two bites to it and also gives you a seed for it. Yeah, muggle is basically a free food. Once you invest in it, you will always get the seed back, unlike any other fruit. Every fruit has a neat little gimmick to it. Mulberries will produce two. Muggles will give you the seed back. Among other things. Now, the thing is, using a muggle... Er, muggles quickly get out of date. Like, the experience you get from them will not sustain you later on. However, you can use muggles for alchemy. And if you do, it will cannibalize the uh, seed. Oh. Which is kind of important because I tend to always be full up on inventory and I have to get rid of seeds. Gold Bear! What? What? He is a dick. He has a move that can specifically stun and restrain you and sets him up for a grapple that will own your face. But he's so... Oh, did he just shoot power waves out of his claws? Yeah, that's what the bears... Oh, shit. Help! You got... Oh, what? I'm there are worse ways to go. Don't worry about it. Now this is that is me farming for grade because like ah uh, shit I got hit. There goes my grade. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, I mean to be fair, it is a lovely Saturday evening. Coating myself in honey and being licked by bears is basically my, already on my agenda for the night. Uh. Oh sorry. Did this just go into a weird space for you, High Wang? It's 2016. Be accepting. I just didn't realize it would relate so well to the LP. Oh. 
<laughs> oh, we don't get to see the uh, Mandragora face. Okay, let's see. Uh, Habanero. They grow at Volcano. I don't think that's factual. It is not, actually. That is a leftover uh, thing from the game. In original Odin Sphere, you can only get certain Mandragoras at certain places. In the main game, this would be the only place you could get carrots. In okay. the Volcano, you could only get um, uh, the words habaneros there. For the uh, remake, they just said, fuck it, plants grow everywhere, even in city streets, I don't know. <laughs> well, they're not wrong. Now, that is a that room was a new tile set that exists for some reason. It doesn't give you anything aside from a pomegranate and an acorn. The pomegranate is a food that is equivalent to a uh, muggle and doesn't do anything else. The acorns just give you one foes on. That's all that room gives you. I don't know why they did that. I think that was a, uh, I think that was an asset that they had to can during initial development, and now that they were doing the remake, they were like, I really like this asset. Let's put it in. Okay. It's a cute little room. Don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. You know now, me. Um, yeah, of course. No, it's a, well, not really. I just like to talk about game development a lot. I, I keep trying to get to know you, but then you're all like, Shibo, that's weird. Go away. Get yeah. out from outside my window. I say as I look at my window. <laughs> you can never be sure. <laughs>